Hello doll lovers, it's Ruby Red Swirl of Dolls and I am back with this really quick um, review. Um, I have this um, Claudine Wolf Monster High doll. I picked her up from my local big lots on clearance. Um, she is my very first Monster High doll. Um, I never thought that I would buy one of the Monster High dolls, but I do think they're fabulous. I think their fashion is awesome, and that is what drew me to these Monster High dolls, is their fashion. And for some reason, Claudine just stuck out to me. So when I saw her on clearance, I decided, hey, this is my opportunity to get her, check her out, and see what, uh, what the Monster High dolls are all about. She does look like she's articulated, but I'm not going to guess on that. I'm going to get her out of the packaging and be for sure. But this is her packaging, and I love the purple and all of the... um like look of marble and glitter in the packaging you guys know i really love packaging and then all of the little creepy things in the background in her box there and then this is the side view of her packaging it's just a couple of pictures of her and some of the other girls that are in this series of dolls and then here is a full um, picture of her on the back and she is looking fabulous just like I said these dolls and their fashion is just awesome and then it gives you just a little rundown of the um of the monsters and how they live and just a little storyline about the dolls and then it gives you these two here that are also available in this collection um you got Chloe Denial and Laguna Blue um uh, Big Lots didn't have them anyway I didn't see them so I'm going to get Miss Claudine Wolf out of the box and we're going to look closer at her and check her out. All right, guys, here is Miss Claudine and she is just as fabulous as I thought she was going to be. I think these Monster High dolls are really cool. I'm just shocked that I had never, ever purchased one until now. But, you know, you can't purchase every doll you see or you would have a house full of dolls. Now, let's talk a little bit about this cutie. First of all, I really like her face mold. Let me take that down out of the way. I really like her face mold. I think she's a fabulous girl. I think she looks adorable. That is, like I said, one of the things that drew me to Miss Claudine was her face. Um, I like her eyes, those big, um, beautiful looking. Can't tell if they're green, um brown i'm not really sure what color that is and i'm just loving all of this beautiful brown hair of hers i think her hair is really really nice i love the color and i love the hint of purple highlights that they have here on the side i think that she is really really cute then she's got her ears sticking out the top there because she is the daughter of the werewolf and she is a werewolf and then let's look closer at her outfit here now this part here I'm not sure if it is removable but I think that it is yes it is removable I didn't cut the um, plastic straps off from up there but that part is removable all of these things are removable and she is articulated at the shoulders at the elbow and at the wrist and then I like how you can see her um some of her hair here um molded on her arms i think that's really cool and then her little hands here have that um those long fingernails like werewolves would have and i really love her dress i'm loving all of the colors i love um this gold and lime green mixed with this purple i think that is just fabulous this dress is gorgeous and then she is articulated at the knee joint and then they also turn i really like that too and i'm loving her shoes you guys know that i am a big fan of shoes i love love shoes and i am loving girlfriend's shoes her shoes are just fabulous and they are removable as well and then again there's a little painted on mold there Mold, well, it's kind of molded on her legs and her arms, the um hair there, because, you know, she's a wolf again. And I'm just going to turn her around so you guys can get a closer look up of this clotting. And then I didn't show you guys here on the side of her face here. She has a little um 
art paint there, paint, art paint, whatever you want to call it here on this side of her eye. And then she comes with her little mask here and she can hold this in her hand. I did have it on her hand. There we go. And she's just so cute. She's just a fabulous doll. And I'm so glad that I picked her up. I am so glad that I added a Monster High doll to my collection. And I'm liking her so much that I really feel like I'm going to have to get another one. Or at least a couple of more. So guys, I'm so glad that you um tuned in to my channel and that you watched this review with me. Do you collect Monster High, Monster High dolls? If so, which one is your favorite? Give me the name of another one so that I can start collecting a couple of more of these. Not going to go crazy with them, but give me a name of another one that I should look at to purchase to add to my family so Miss Claudine won't be um, by herself. Guys, I'll see you in the next video. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to do that. And I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day.